Today's video is sponsored by Native Sons Goods, makers of the best woven guitar, bag, and camera straps on planet Earth. And now the best is even better with a new line of hand-woven Maya Serape straps with USA Organic Herringbone Hemp backing. Get 10% off when you use the link in the description. And remember, when you support my sponsor, you support this channel, and I sure appreciate it. Hey everybody, how's it going? Brad the Guitologist here. Pulled a couple of things out of uh, the trash today. On my way home, I noticed a big trash pile on the side of the road. And I saw a couple of these in with the trash. These Dish Network Hopper with Sling. Uh, these are satellite dish receivers. I've already stripped these mostly. Uh, there was a uh, power board over here. There's also a hard drive in these. Uh, I got two of these machines. Both had two terabyte hard drives in them. And instead of throwing this stuff away, I thought, well, I'll just try to rescue the hard drives. And I've discovered a way to do it. Uh, the problem is, if you try to put one of the take the hard drive out and just hook it up directly uh, to your machine with, say, a something like this, like a SATA hookup, it will not recognize it because they have programmed these. Uh, in such a way that it has to receive an on signal from the original unit to turn it on. Now there's different ways of bypassing this, but the easiest way that I've found here is to do uh, what we're about to show here. Uh, I just now was able to get one of these hard drives to, to format, to be recognized and to format. And the way I did this was I actually had to power up the machine first. So here's the machine. You can see the power board here is still intact on this second machine. Uh, here's the hard drive in this one. Um, as you can see there I've actually removed the fan because I'm going to strip these for parts. What you see here is the SATA hookup going down to my other machine whose monitor is up here. This is what I use for everyday TV viewing. So that's the monitor. Uh, so what I'm doing basically is I'm using uh, this to power up the disc and then I, I unplug it from the SATA cable internally and hook it up to this SATA cable so we're gonna I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that so uh, let's get to that so the first thing I need to do is un unplug this machine because like I said I just now was able to format this drive okay now that the machine is unplugged uh, we can remove this drive and put this second drive in there now you want to make uh, make sure you don't touch anything especially over here on this power board because you're gonna have 120 volt AC coming in here so you want to be very careful if you have one of these open uh, and even if you touch anything over here just be aware you might have some uh, DC voltages I'm not sure what the voltages are gonna be but it's probably gonna be you know uh, from 12 to 24 volts would be my guess on this board so um, just be aware of your voltages and where everything is this is your power board so avoid this at all costs don't touch this with it on even with it off don't touch it because you got these big capacitors in here uh, that might give you a bit of a shock they will hold charge after the thing is unplugged so just be aware of that um, we're gonna go ahead like I said and remove this disc sorry for the lighting this is just kinda what I have to work with so this SATA cable. Now this is the secondary cable uh, that's going to my disk drive. Now if you're trying to do this with a laptop or something like that you're gonna have probably a little tougher time. It's probably still doable I'm sure uh, but you might have to um, I don't know you might have to do some things to get around uh, working with a laptop that you wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily have to do so much on a desktop like this okay so there's that SATA cable unplugged so that's the secondary drive in this machine uh, so that's unplugged now we can also go ahead and unplug the power to this um, I do have just the one screw in there at the moment just sort of holding it in place I just didn't want it to move around while I was screwing with it so okay so now that two terabyte hard drive is is wiped and ready to be used and we're just going to go ahead and hook this drive up to this machine. Okay, now our second drive is hooked up to the machine. You see the power cable running here to it. You can also see this SATA cable running to this board uh, for this uh, actual direct TV machine. So now this is hooked up to this in the way that it would have been from the factory. So what I want to do now is move it a little bit closer to my... Uh, monitor up there my TV so I can plug it directly in via HDMI 
Okay, so again, I apologize for the poor lighting, but here you can see I have it up here on the mantle close to my uh, computer screen, well, my monitor. Uh, so what I want to do is I've got this hooked up via HDMI and the cool the other cool thing about picking these Dish network systems up is they come with some really nice HDMI cables I got three very thick nice HDMI cables with this uh, find on the side of the road So that was cool. Those aren't cheap when you have to go buy them But I'm gonna change the source on my monitor to HDMI I'll tell you what let me go ahead and get this plugged in and we'll start it up first Okay, so now we've got it plugged in and it's on and we can change the source So that now this thing is starting to starting up Okay, so after a few seconds it comes up to this screen It's acquiring signal screen and again, we're not really concerned with that. I want to try to bypass that I think I was able to I think I was able to do that earlier. Yeah, you just hit the hit the menu button and it will bypass that search screen so you can get here to the to the menu uh, you can see there DVR and if you want to just check out whatever was recorded on it I mean you can go to DVR by hitting these buttons the over and the select will get you in there and it looks like looks like they've recorded a few things they've got lover boy that's a old 80s classic burn after reading so, I mean, if there's any of this I want to watch, I could go ahead and watch this stuff. Okay, so while this thing is in a mode where I can actually put my hand on the, the drive and feel it spinning up, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the HDMI cable, and I'm just going to pick the thing up, and I'm going to move it down here where I can get it closer to plug it in. Okay, so I've moved the whole unit down here on top of this unit to get it closer to where I can plug it into this SATA cable. And I'm just going to reach here. And again, there's not much voltage on this board. And it's all DC. So you don't have to worry too much about it. If you're that worried about it, you can wear uh, you can wear some latex gloves um, while you unplug that like that. And that should, should help. Um, but you basically just want to unplug that cable and plug this one in. And okay, now that the cable's plugged in to my CPU... I can come back up here, change the source again. Okay, so here once you're on the desktop, what you want to do is come down here to your Windows Start menu, right click on it. It's going to bring up this menu. You'll go up here to Disk Management. And you can see right there, you can see 1863, this disk one. This disk is the, the hard drive that's in my computer this disk is the new disk that's in there the problem is I think I have to restart the computer now in order to show a new disk because it's uh, it's seeing the disk that I already took out so what I need to do is refresh this I think I can F5 it to refresh it uh, refresh here we go alright so let's refresh it so after refreshing you can see here three partitions Okay, so this is the new disk that I've just put in. You see three partitions. There's a 23 gig partition there. There's a 45 gig partition there. And there's a 1793 gig partition right there. So we want to basically delete all these par partitions. So right click on them one at a time and delete this volume. Uh, yes, you want to delete the volume. And it should turn into unallocated space, and it does. You can see right there it's now unallocated. So we go to the next one, right click, delete volume. Yes. And this will turn unallocated as well. And now on to this one. And you can see those two got combined over here. Uh, now we right click on this final one, delete volume. Yes, we do and you will see that one also will turn black and now we just have one big unallocated space 1863 gigabytes large at this point we can right click on this and create a new simple volume and it will bring this up and then just basically go through this wizard uh, that's okay we're not really that concerned about the assignment I don't think it really matters much what you do here because you're probably going to take this out and use it in whatever. So we'll hit next. 
right here you can change this from NTFS uh, to XFAT whichever one you want I'm gonna keep it as NTFS just cuz I'm never gonna use uh, max or anything like that anyway so we're just gonna perform a quick format and on this one I'm gonna call this one I'll just call this one free disk number two and we'll hit next and we will hit finish and right there you can see it's formatting it'll take just a minute or two not long actually yep there it is and it pops up automatically and I now have a two terabyte external hard drive or internal hard drive or whatever I want to use it for so that is how you salvage the disk drives out of these dish network receivers if you find some on the side of the road if they are new enough this one these are 2015 models uh, this one and, and that other one as well those are both 2015 models and they both had two terabyte hard drives in them probably you know the newer they are the bigger the hard drives are going to be so the more use you'll get out of them so yeah hopefully that helps somebody if it does hit subscribe down below and for now we'll see y'all later